Hi, everybody. Welcome to TCM Time. That's traditional Chinese medicine with me, Kathy Young. Welcome to my 20-minute training routine for the Tai Chi Ball Qigong. We're in our fifth week out of six weeks working on Tai Chi Ball circling for the best health. In our previous weeks, we learned how to circle forward. You have vertical circling forward as if you're giving and sharing your energy with the whole world. And you practice giving to your right, giving to your left. You can reverse it, bring the energy into your own heart, vertical circling backward. And you practice receiving from your right, from friends on your right and on your left. We also have something called horizontal circling, as if you're sharing your love with the whole world, all around from your waist, from left to right. This is clockwise. Share that love with your whole world and reverse it, coming back and giving it to yourself, nourishing your own body and soul. This is counterclockwise circle. So in our last class, we talked about something called the S curve or the figure eight. Think of the whole yin yang symbol and you can change from yin to yang and yang to yin. So if we're going forward, imagine you're giving a lot in your life and you need to reverse it to give back to yourself. From the top, we can draw an S-curve, out, in, and out. And this reverses coming back to the outer circle of the yin-yang symbol, and now you're giving to yourself. From here, after giving to yourself, then you recharge, and you want to give back to the world, draw another S-curve from the top, in, out, and in. Going to the out, now you're giving again to the whole world. Last week, we practiced something called the eight, figure eight. So it's the same as the S curve, but you're coming back up. So drawing a figure eight, and you continue giving. From the top, figure eight, back up, and you continue giving. Today, we're going to try what's called the rotation of the ball. Can everybody try holding your Tai Chi ball? Let's start by giving me a high five. Good, this is with your palace of power. That's your energy that gives you the labor of love. Nice, good. And your other side, raise the roof for Tai Chi ball. And then give me a high five. Good, connect our palace of power. Nice. And let's put this energy from our heart, pericardium is our heart, into the ball, holding the ball. From here, let's try vertical rotation forward. Have your hands in north and south and rotate forward. Use your elbows and use your wrist. Let your shoulders and your waves come in and out. Very nice, that's vertical rotation forward. And practice reverse, vertical rotation backward. From north and south, pull it back into your body. So this gives to yourself at the finer level. Very nice. So imagine your ball like the globe and you're staying along the prime meridian, staying north and south. We can also go horizontal. So holding your ball, imagine this is the equator of the globe. We're going to hold our ball east and west 
And let's practice rotation clockwise. Going around, watching your right hand, it draws a horizontal clockwise rotation. Let your back hand be free to flip around, but stay close to the ball. And my fingers turn down and back up. The left hand just supports the right hand. Good, so that's vertical, that's horizontal rotation clockwise. And you also have counterclockwise. Staying on the horizontal plane, on the equator, holding east and west. Let's have the right hand go counterclockwise. Twist and untwist. Twist and untwist. Let your left hand be free to turn around the ball. Good. So that's turning around the equator counterclockwise from east to west. Nice. So today we're going to attempt to control, to take this ball, not only circling, this is the bigger arm movement, but we're also going to connect it with the smaller elbow and wrist movement. We'll try with a little bit. Good. So continue, bring your energy to your palace of labor and power. Bring it into the ball. Imagine this is your world. This is your life. Other side. Today, we're going to add in two acupressure points on the bottom of the feet. On the soles, this is your kidney point number one. This gives you rooting in your life. So as you keep giving, continue squatting down to stay rooted. So you don't lose your center. Good, everybody. Let's see if you can combine circling and rotation. Holding the ball, feet shoulder width apart. Let's circle three times, forward. Good, and slowly see if you can add in rotation and circling. Nice. So you're using your elbows, wrists, and shoulders. Good. And let's reverse it. Vertical circling backward. And slowly bring in vertical rotation backward. So this gets more into the intermediate and advanced practice where you have to combine rotation and circling. See if you can go horizontal, clockwise. That's circling. And then add in rotation. Very nice. And let's try horizontal or counterclockwise circling. And combine it with counterclockwise rotation. Very nice. So if at any point you get lost with the rotation, just go back to your circling, your larger movement. If you're ready to begin your 20 minute training, let's raise the roof. Yay, push off the bottom of your feet from your bubbling well point, giving you rooting. Yay, and raise the roof, give me a high five with your labor of love, nice. Other side, open your heart as wide as you can. Nice, and high five with your labor of love. Super, let's find a space on the floor if your toes point forward, feet about shoulder width apart, let's start holding our ball in your dantian, your center of your energy, two fingers below your belly button. Let's close our eyes for three deep breaths. 
connecting our energy with the ball. One more deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let's open our eyes. Very good. Let's charge up this ball full of your energy and love. Good, and let's re get ready to share it with the whole world. Let's gently squat down in our stance. You can go slightly wider. Good, and begin sharing this love with everybody in front of us. Lift it up to your chest and roll forward. Vertical circling forward. Inhale, exhale. There are two more times in the front. Very nice, and get ready to turn to your right and share this love with everybody in your right side, keeping your toes point forward. Two more times. Good. Get ready. Turn your waist, other side to your left. Two more times. Very good. Let's go back to center. Gently squat down, lead the energy to the bottom of your feet and continue bringing the energy to your palm. Turning our waist, let's share this energy in a spiral on our right and left and continue turning your waist. Start your circle in one plane and finish in another plane. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Super job. Let's come back to the center. And let's see if you can combine rotation forward with your circling. Start by vertical rotation forward. Very nice. Let's slowly bring in in a big circle and a rotation from the side view. Good, let your arms move, elbows and wrists. Let your shoulders turn and your waist. Super job. And let's slow it down. Let's get ready to reverse it. Let's go back to vertical, circling forward. We're going to do figure eight to come back forward. Ready from the top. Let's draw an S curve, figure eight, from the bottom all the way back up. S curve back into figure eight and continue giving forward. Good. See if you can do another figure eight and continue giving forward from the top.
to great job. Good job with your figure eight. Let's try three S curves from the top. S curve in and out. Now you're giving backwards. Good, continue giving to yourself. And let's go from the top, drawing an S curve in, out, and in. And back out, to the outer circle, and now you're giving forward. Inhale, exhale. Let's go one more S curve to give back to ourselves. From the top, S, good, and back. Pull that energy into your heart and your chest. Let's stay on the vertical, circling backward. In the front, five times. Squat down into your legs. Inhale, exhale. Two more times in the front and get ready to turn to your right. Good. From your waist, twist to your right. And let's receive energy from our friends on the right. Keep your toes point forward. Twist your ankles, knees, and hips. Two more on your right. And get ready to turn to your left from your waist and change. Receive your energy from your friends on the left. Continue leading energy to the bottom of your feet like you're growing roots like a tree. Two more time. Good, and slowly come back forward. We're gonna get ready to spiral. In a super way, super speed, you're gonna receive from your energy on the right and twist your waist on the left. Good, continue spiraling and receive as much energy as you can, left and right. You can pick up the pace a little bit. Two more times, keep turning your waist. Super job, let's slow that down. Back to the center. We're going to get ready to do rotation backward. From north and south, let your elbow slide up vertically and your wrist. Pulling the energy into your heart. Good. Let your shoulders and your hips move. Feel it pulling and pushing at the same time. Push up and pull down. Super job. We're going to combine this rotation with the circling. See if you can make your bigger arm movement and your smaller elbow and wrist movement, rotation and circling.
Good. This works all your joints, helping you to prevent arthritis, helping you for good circulation. Super job. We're going to get ready to do figure eight and an S curve. Good, let's slow this down. Nice, and let's come back to vertical rotation, vertical circling backwards. Three times. From the top, let's go figure eight. In, out, in, back up, and out. Staying in a vertical rotation, vertical circling backwards. See if you can go one figure eight by yourself from the top, or if you want from anywhere in the circle. And check yourself, you should still be in vertical, circling backward. Let's go one more figure eight together from the top. Figure eight, draw it with your ball, back up. Good, and come back into vertical circling backwards. Super job with your figure eight. Let's try S curve from the top. S curve from up, in, out, and back out. And you should find yourself in a vertical circling forward. Let's give to the world for a little bit. Okay, see if you can make an S curve by yourself to find the ball giving back to yourself. Good, check yourself. Are you pulling the energy into your heart and recharging your body and your mind? Super job, we're gonna go one more S curve. From the top, S, and back out. Super job, giving to the world and giving to yourself. We're gonna give all around the world in a horizontal circle. Let's come back to the energy center, the Dantian, and turn clockwise from left to right. Give as far as you can while rooting yourself in your leg. Five times, horizontal clockwise circle. Inhale, exhale. For two more, horizontal in the front, clockwise. Good, and turn to your right. Let's continue sharing this love all the way around the world. Let's send out some healing love energy. Two more times. Slowly from your waist, turn to your other side. And continue sharing your healing love energy from your heart. All around the world. Two more times. Good, slowly come back to your center. And we're going to try with a rotation horizontal clockwise with horizontal circling. Let's see if you can go horizontal rotation with a turn. Cross and come back to east and west. Two more times. 
Let your backward hand flip over and back up. Good. Let's see if you can combine horizontal circle with rotation all around the world in your finest level. Super job, that's not easy. So keep working at it, you've got it. And just keep working on it. Good, so let's slow that down. Let's go back to horizontal clockwise circle. We're gonna get ready to spiral in a big tornado. Let's circle a few times on the ground, on the waist level. And let's bring this spiral up to our chest and up to over our head, big tornado, full of love. Back down and back to your waist. See if you can make two more tornadoes, start in one plane and finish in another plane at your own pace. Good, slowly come back down, back to horizontal clockwise circle. We're going to get ready to do a figure eight horizontally. Here a few times, big circle. And from the top, see if you can draw a figure eight as if you're drawing on a table. Left and right, left and right and stay in the clockwise circle. See if you can do one time figure eight by yourself from the top or anywhere in the circle. Continue in a clockwise circle. Last time figure eight together from the top, right, left, Right, use your waist, left and right. Super, staying in a clockwise circle. Super, let's reverse it. We're gonna go figure S curve from the top. Can you draw a backward S curve? Right, left and right. And you find yourself in a counterclockwise circle. Good. See if you can draw one S curve by yourself and find yourself reverse it to a clockwise circle at your own pace. Good. Did you find yourself in a clockwise circle? Super nice. So we finished giving to the whole world. Let's come back to ourselves and recharge ourselves. One more S curve from the top. Let's go backward S, right, left, and right. And find yourself in a counterclockwise circle, pulling into your own body and your heart. Let's go five times counterclockwise circle in the front. Squat down to root yourself into the ground. Two more times. And turn to your right. We see some love all around the world pulling into your heart and your body. Keeping your toes point forward so you have the twist in your ankles, knees, and hips. Two more times. Using your waist, let's get ready to turn to the left. 
Continue pulling energy into yourself to recharge. Two more times. Good, slowly come back to your center. Let's get ready to spiral up and spiral down as high as you can to your chest, over your head, as high as you can, like a big tornado, and bring it back down to your own body. Good, pull in that energy. See if you can make one tornado by yourself. Big spiral as high as you can. Root yourself into the ground. Super tornado, let's go last time together. Big tornado together, let's make a storm as high as you can. Super and back down. Nice and root yourself. Nice final challenge. Let's see if you can go counterclockwise rotation with the circling. Let me see, counterclockwise rotation with your elbow and your wrist. On east and west and back. Watch your right hand do a counterclockwise rotation. Good. Let's get ready to combine this counterclockwise rotation with the circling. Big arm movement and small, fine elbow and wrist movement. Good. Two more times. Very nice, let's slow it down. And slowly you'll find your way back to a horizontal counterclockwise rotation circle. Let's make it smaller and smaller, smaller and smaller. Quiet your mind, body and breath. Slowly return back to your energy center. Inhale deeply. Exhale, quiet your body and your mind. Very nice. Let's return and park our ball at our energy center. Two fingers below the belly button. On the dantian, let's close our eyes. For three deep breaths, reconnect with your center and your ball. Inhale deeply. Exhale. One more deep breath. Inhale with a deep inner smile to your heart. Exhale, let's open our eyes. Let a big outer smile to this whole world. Yay, super job. Let's give the ball a big hug as if you're hugging yourself. Very nice. Good job today, giving energy to the whole world and to yourself. Today, our main focus was trying to explore the rotation of the ball. We have vertical rotation forward from north and south, rolling the ball forward. And then you have vertical rotation backward, pulling in with the elbow and the wrist. 
And the tricky part is combining it with the circling, rotation, forward. And vertical rotation backward with circling. Then we changed it to horizontal rotation and circling from east and west. And counterclockwise rotation and circling east and west. Good. These are the finer movements that help your joints, your elbows, your wrists, all the way to your fingers. This is part of the more advancing practice. So at the beginning, make sure you have a good foundation with the circling, good body movement, opening your life gate, pulling up the energy all the way to your neck for more passion and more drive. And remember to lead that energy to your palace of labor and love. Last high five, good, other side, good. And from the bottom of your feet, from the bubbling well for your rooting, good, double high fives with your feet, super job today. So in our next class, last, next week will be our last week, we're going to explore another more advanced practice called wrap coiling. Today we kept our hands flat, that's rotation. When we start flipping the ball to the back of the palm, back of the hand, this is called a wrap coiling. And this allows you to move even finer the wrist. So horizontal wrap coiling. This is all a good training to build your foundation for Tai Chi. Good, wrap. So each movement has a nice fine movement in Tai Chi. And you'll find that your body moves so soft because you're so round and strong. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to get ready to post my late summer session for my next courses. So keep, keep tuned for my tcmtime.com. I'll post a new schedule and hope that you'll register for my regular classes. Good. So I hope to see you next week. Thank you again. Till next time. This is TCM time. Keep letting your health shine. Let me see who's here and say hello. Saw Ed earlier. Good morning, Ed. Nice. And I have Dr. Workman. Hi, Doc. Hi, Teresa. Big heart and big hug. Yay. Good. Gunnar in Iceland. Hi, Gunnar. And Chiyoko. Hi, Chiyoko. Konnichiwa. Nice. And we have Jean in France. Bonjour, Jean. Good, happy you like the practice, big hearts. Good, thank you, Ed. We have School Spirit, thank you, School Spirit, big heart. And Ed, yes, so everybody stay safe. And thank you so much for joining me, giving and sharing your love. And I continue sharing my love to you. Big heart and big sunshine. Big hug, everybody, thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.